Transitioning from the hospital to your house after experiencing a spinal cord injury can be difficult. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you about some modifications that you can do to your house to make that transition easier. The first modification that you can do is get a concreted driveway if you have gravel. Wheelchairs are really difficult to try and roll across gravel, especially in manual chairs because the casters get caught on the gravel. Concreted driveways will help you get to and from your vehicle and make that process much smoother. The second modification that you can do is to put in nice wide sidewalks and that will allow you to get to and from your vehicle or driveway or road a lot easier. If you have to go upstairs to get into your house, the third modification that you can do is a ramp. And if you don't want a big ramp, you can actually get a mobile ramp, which is maybe about six feet long, and it folds up to where you can take it in and out of a vehicle, so you can take it to a friend's house if they have stairs at their house, and you're wanting to get inside. If the stairs are in your garage to get into your house, you can get a lift that basically just lifts you up on top of the stairs um, that way you don't have to go up a ramp. It's more or less like an electric lift. The fourth modification to your house is to widen the doorways if your wheelchair will not fit through them. However, if the doorways inside your house are not wide enough, such as the doorway to your bedroom, you might just be able to take off the door. Keep in mind that if you are in a manual chair, you'll have to account for your hands and fingers to fit through the doorway because they're going to be on the outside of your push rooms. If you have actual doorknobs on the doors in your house, I highly recommend you change those doorknobs into door handles because it is a lot easier to close the doors if you have that handle to grab onto, especially if you are a quadriplegic. However, I think it would help paraplegics as well. If you have carpet in your house, especially thick carpet, and it is in rooms that you are going to be in quite a bit going through such as living rooms or bedrooms I highly recommend to take that carpet out and put down something like wood or tile this is going to make it way easier to maneuver around in your house because over time um, things like thick carpet can put a wear and tear on your shoulders if you have rugs in your house and you are a power wheelchair user and those rugs are in places where you either don't need them or you are going to be going through that place a lot in your wheelchair I recommend to take those rugs up because I know for me um, the rugs get all caught up in my wheels one modification that I highly recommend is to have a roll-in shower in the bathroom roll-in showers make it extremely easy to take showers in a wheelchair and another modification you can do in the bathroom is to put hand grips um, on some of the places on the walls, especially if you are going to be transferring from a wheelchair to the toilet. If you're not going to be transferring from a wheelchair to the toilet and you are going to be using a shower or commode chair, I recommend that you make sure your toilet is low enough to get the commode or shower chair over to do the whole process. You can also put a wheelchair accessible sink in the bathroom that doesn't have any cabinets under it so that way you can roll up to it real easy. If you're going to be cooking I highly recommend making modifications to the kitchen so you can access everything in the kitchen easily. Some of these modifications in the kitchen include making sure that you can get to the sink um, so maybe you would take out the cabinet underneath the sink to where you can just roll under the sink and use that. Make sure the microwave is easily accessible and not somewhere up high where you cannot reach it. Make sure the stove and oven are easily accessible and one way you can do that is separate them and have the stove to where you can roll under it and have the oven somewhere kind of up high where you don't have to bend over. Be sure the refrigerator is accessible, so you might get the refrigerator that has two doors on it side by side and opens up like this with the freezer in the bottom 
instead of the top so that way you can reach it. A modification that you can do to things like desks and tables is to put something under the legs to lift them up so that way you can get your chair underneath where you're needing to get. However, that sometimes doesn't work because then the table is up this high and it's really hard to eat off of. So if that happens, what you can do is cut out the side of a table like I did my dining table and then you can just roll right underneath it. Lastly, a few things that you can do is get a hospital bed and that will allow you to raise and lower the bed to make transfers easier and you can also put up the head or feet so that way cathing is easier in bed. You can buy an alternating air mattress for your bed which has air in it and it alternates which um, cells are inflated so that way it decreases your chances of getting pressure sores. You need to make sure most things in the house are spread out enough to get your wheelchair in between such as a couch or a chair if you want to access things. If you have stairs inside your house that go either upstairs or downstairs to another story you can get a stair lift which you basically just sit in and it brings you to the top or bottom of the stairs to the next level. And one last modification that you can do is to get a side loading washer and dryer for whenever you are doing laundry. Hopefully this video helped you out and will make the transitioning process easier and if you have any modifications that I missed leave them in the comments.